Oh. We're going to look at the postures of the eight strands of silk brocade from the seated position. number one. I hope you had some success with it. Don't worry if you're not perfect in the first place you will get better over the period of time like anything else it takes a while to get used to it. Exercise number two in Badwan Jin. This is called separate heaven and earth. Watch. is one sequence coming back to neutral. Now separate heaven and earth is so cool because with this hand is turned outwards, remember the fingertips are turned outwards away from the body, the palm flat towards the, the ceiling or the heavens as though you're trying to push the heavens up that way and this hand fingers out palm down behind you is trying to push the earth down so it's separate heaven and earth. You reach the maximum stretch and then you relax, cross over and do the same the other side. That being one sequence. You notice that I'm looking at the upper hand. Look at the upper hand. Now in a wheelchair of course you may have arms beside the chair, you may have structures here but try and avoid them, try and go on the outside if you can. If you go slightly outwards, it doesn't matter too much. The main point of the exercise is to straighten the arm out, your back and your posture as straight as normal, of course. Straighten that arm out down there, straighten this arm out up there, and you stretch the two apart. This has a lovely effect on the body, has an effect on the arms, the energy channels, the muscles, and everything else. So this is the main point of the exercise, to stretch the two arms apart or separate heaven and earth. Hands on the lap to begin with. Breathing naturally. Bring your hands in towards the Dantian. Right hand down, left hand up. Stretch the two apart. Relax, cross over. Stretch the two apart. Remember, get the fingertips pointing outwards and the palms flat to the floor and ceiling. Last one for now. When you've finished, bring the hands back down in front of the dantian, centering your chi, of course, and then relax. Okay. Again, practice that one. Do not be too keen to try and do too many things at once. Learn one thing, move on. Learn something else, move on. And then over the time, or over the course of time, you go back and you polish them up and you get better at it. As my old master used to say, practice makes almost perfect. Enjoy. <laughs>